Let me ask you about this. The chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Adam Schiff, he lifted, listed off several events. The Trump Tower meeting with a Russian lawyer promising dirt on Hillary Clinton, Michael Flynn lying about conversations with the Russian ambassador, Paul Manafort sharing polling data. He had this to say about those events. Take a listen. I don't think it's okay. I think it's immoral. I think it's unethical. I think it's unpatriotic. And yes, I think it's corrupt and evidence of collusion. I do not think that conduct, criminal or not, is okay. Now, from what we know, the special counsel concluded there is not sufficient evidence for any criminal charges having to do with conspiracy or collusion. But what do you think about his larger point that the actions were unethical? Um, keep in mind that everything that Adam just talked about, and I know Adam, I used to serve with him in Congress, everything that he just listed right there was available to Mr. Mueller. In fact, probably in greater detail than Adam goes into right there. And yet, Mr. Mueller found no collusion and no obstruction. Right, not Look, a crime. I, I would, but what about the ethics or morality of those things, those incidents? Uh, again, the, 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 the issue here is not whether it's ethical. Mr. Schiff runs the House Intelligence Committee. Uh, people don't realize this. He gets to see stuff that a lot of members of Congress don't get to see. I didn't get to see what he was seeing when I was uh, in the House. That role t it takes with it a huge responsibility, and one of those responsibilities is to not be partisan. It's why you saw so many Republicans this week call for Adam to resign his position. That position is so critical that if someone comes forward and they're the House uh, Intelligence Committee chairman, and they look at the other members and say, look, I've seen a bunch of stuff. You haven't seen it because you don't get to see it. I do. Trust me, it says X, Y, Z. Mm. They have to be able to trust that person in Implicitly, and Adam has lost that ability to do it. It's why you heard so many Republicans call upon his resignation this week. Look, there are some Democrats who simply uh, can't get over the fact that President Trump is president. I get that. Adam is apparently one of them. Um, but we really do think enough is enough, and it's time to move on to other things. Well, I, all I'm saying here is that you're setting the bar on criminal charges or evidence of conspiracy, and I agree with what you're saying, that there is none there. Um, but he's talking about ethics and morality, and you're saying that's not his job. Okay, fair enough. But forgetting right. Adam Schiff for a second, what about the larger point about ethics and morality? Well, I think, I think the voters are going to decide uh, about the ethics and morality of the people they vote for on either side. People liked Bill Clinton, even though they might not have thought he was that ethical. That's not the job of the House Intelligence Committee. It's not the job of the House Judiciary Committee. It's not the job of the House Oversight Committee. They're supposed to review the functioning of government. Voters make decisions about the candidates in other places. And importantly, members of Congress, even if they are the uh, chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, don't get to substitute their judgment for the voters. And that is what this is all about at the end of the day. That's what the Mueller report was about. That's what you're mm -hmm. seeing now on the Hill. It's about trying to figure out how to undo what the voters did in 2016. And that's where I think people have just had enough and said, look, we gave Mueller the time. We gave him all the resources in the world, millions of dollars, two years. A lot of folks, including this station, said, you know, give Mueller the time, give him, let him do his job. But the mm -hmm. decision is in. The president did not collude and did not obstruct. It's time to move on.